Every student who is going to join VITAP University is surely going to fall into this confusion of what is the major difference between AP campus and Velour campus because they would have got first category in Andhra Pradesh and third or fourth or fifth or some category in Velour. So they usually come into a dilemma that paying more and going to Velour is better or paying less and going into AP for first category is better or not because of various other questions like infra, campus life, student culture, the location, all the things. So in this video, we are going to cover all the differences we can regarding these two campuses so that you can understand and I'll help you decide better or if you have already decided, I'll help you understand if your decision is better. So I'll be covering about basic questions like infrastructure, the campus life, the student uh, culture, how is it, the education system, how you can get into the universities, the incoming students profiles and all those things I'll be discussing here. Uh, so basically, one more important point I wanted to inform you guys is that uh, we cannot compare a race bike with a scooter right um, everything has its own specifications and everything has its own specialities so similar thing happens with Velour and Andhra Pradesh campus Velour is 40 years or 50 years uh, far established long ago and it has a lot of infrastructures which are still developing in AP campus so you cannot compare that with AP but I'm going to compare and I'm going to give you a rough idea on what you need to know before making your decision. So why delay? Let's dive in right into the video. And for those of you who do not know me, my name is Vivek and I'm a previous VITAP alumni. I have passed out from 21 and I'm an ECE BTEC. The first major question and if I answer this question, half of your queries will be solved, half of your confusions will be solved. So basically, VITAP University, though it belongs to a chain of VIT universities from Velour campus, it is not exactly related to Velour in any manner. It was established under the ARPA Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act because Andhra Pradesh was basically separated as a new state and government gave permissions for establishment of new universities. So uh, apart from VIT, there are also SRM, Amrita various other big universities getting established in Andhra Pradesh. So now because of uh, instability in government, uh, in, in, in uh, there's a confusion of decisions. So there is little, um, you know, misguidance in this program of universities establishment. But since VIT and SRM were established far before, they're still going on without any issues. So basically VIT AP University has been established under the government of Andhra Pradesh. So it is not really VIT University Velour campus, VIT University Chennai campus, but it is VIT AP University. So when you get a certificate, you are not going to get a certificate from Velour Institute of Technology. You are get a certificate from VITAP University. Though it has a brand name behind it, it is not really, uh, it's a university related to the original VIT Velour. So this is one of the technical things you need to know. Apart from that, what you need to know is that uh, basically some of the staff or some of the academic features are little related to Velour, but they try to implement a lot of things in Andhra Pradesh campus because I have seen that myself because as a first year batch student and as a new campus student, uh, they usually try to implement courses which are not in Velour or Chennai as well. So in the, those kind of scenarios, you get to face new course structures which are not exactly purely stable or which are not exactly implemented on students for a lot of years. So there might be small issues here and there uh, um, when you write exams or when you uh, when the courses are being taken up, you might feel a little burden or less burden, you know, because the course is not exactly structured. You are the first or second batch of students who are taking up those courses. So this is this is my this might be the problem with uh, some of the courses or else the courses which have been running at the university for about five years because it has been started five years ago. So it, it might not be a serious problem, but you need to know if you are joining VITAP University. But going on to Velour, they have been established for years. So exactly the courses have been running for a long time. They have been very well implemented and there are very less flaws in that. So you need to know this major difference and this is how the academic system varies. Going on to see further academic aspects as well, going on to see lab features and the facilities for students academic growth. Um, Velour has a lot of uh, facilities out there because they have a lot of um, branch of students studying their different departments and they have biomedical, they have civil, this, that, but AP campus, they don't have much. 
but how many whatever students are available in the ap campus resources are plenty for them you need not worry about that i have seen as a first batch student we do not face problem with the resources let it be with the licenses uh, that we use for our uh, electronics design or various other uh, things like software related cs people whatever they use in every aspect there is no shortage of licenses so you need uh, you need to know that um, resources are very good when you go to vat university you cannot compare that with velour where there are diversity of resources but whatever is required for the student they make sure it is given and coming on to see the other uh, Um, means of uh, students being joined into the university basically vit ap since it is established in andhra pradesh and uh, the government is little rigid and little confused kind of state basically currently they are taking students from mset as well this is not uh, i haven't seen this in uh, tamil nadu where uh, the velur students can get through the tamil nadu 12th marks or anything like that of course there are departments like integrated mtech where you need to apply with your plus 12 marks that is the intermediate second year marks or all those things but generally um, we usually enter to the private universities with the exams they conduct and not with the government exams but because of uh, the gandhar pradesh rules and all those things ap government um, forces the universities to take students through mset as well so this is one of the thing you need to know because as a student if you are joining other pradesh campus you will be expecting other students who have joined to your same university maybe not with vat triple examination but through mset as well and one more point to note is that they will be paying less fees than you because they have come from the andhra pradesh government side and they are also it's kind of a subsidized manner you will understand much about that when university officially announces all those things i guess there have been a last year mset recruitment uh, mset student intake as well and that is also happening this year i am not exactly sure about that because this completely depends on government but i can tell you that you will be in a society or in a group of students where there are also coming from vat triple and mset as well so this is how the student culture works going on to see the student diversity let's talk about much about uh, the student culture and stuff there velour is a cosmopolitan you know the place is you know rigid awesome right there are a lot of students not just local there are also international students coming to the velour so the cosmopolitan nature or the students environment out there is somewhat modern and not much compared to andhra pradesh campus because in andhra pradesh as most of the students will be from the local area because when you go to velour there are going to be tamilians as well but of course um, it's a very you know huge campus there are also going to be um, most of the people from all the countries and also all the states of india but compared to that in andhra pradesh campus telugu domination is going to be much more so for example you can consider this as uh, 40 students in every 100 are going to be local aids so th- there is going to be a little domination but trust me this is not going to lead to any discrimination as most my, most of the north indian viewers usually ask me right if there is any kind of discrimination no this is because the staff who usually you know teach at the universities the professor and all those people are not just south indians they are also north indians they come from different parts of india so basically when they are from uh, other parts who are going to discriminate you right that's not going to happen of course groups of people are going to form who are uh, basically if you are from telugu telugu people are going to form a group north indians are going to form group for themselves but try to get around with everybody and discrimination is not much where you are going to find that and this is one of the major difference you need to find and uh, let's talk about last aspect of this video that is placements um so basically people ask if vat andhra pradesh has equal placements when compared to vat velour is that so no it's because velour has direct links with other campuses and as of now andhra pradesh is also integrated with velour campus for placements right so basically what happens is that Uh, people they just apply through the companies whatever comes to vat campuses and all campus students apply to that uh, basically the companies do not even uh, find a difference between all the students who are applying that's what happen with us as first batch students but as things go forward basically they might get separated and velur might have their own placements and ap might have their own placements but trust me ap as a campus is also going to get good placements it has got in the past it is also going to get in the future as well because vat as an institution right every private institution gets placements because the connections in the corporate world and vat 
as it has been running for a long time in the corporate industry it has a lot of connections out there so trust me placements are not going to be issue especially especially for cs related students because there are a lot of cs jobs right there are a lot of cs jobs there are a lot of coding jobs there are a lot of software jobs artificial intelligence machine learning all those coming up of course semiconductor industry is also booming that's where i work in but software industry is developing and VIT has a lot of connections in all those fields. So as a student from VIT, any campus you get, placements are going to be very good. As of now, they are getting integrated with Velour. So even if they get separated, you are going to get good opportunities. You need not worry about that. Just focus on your academics, focus on what you are going to do and that's how you are going to settle your placements. And one more thing you need to note is that the academic system is kind of same in both, though the subjects what are being taught might be different in Velur and Andhra Pradesh in some aspects like the change they try to change few aspects of a specific subject which is taught in Velur and they try to implement in AP but some subjects are going to be same some subjects are going to be different also one more thing uh, apart from this you need to notice that the general education system like it's called as flexible credit system is same in almost all the campuses where you can select your professor where you can select your time slot and you can go to the class of your choice except for the first year because you are hardly get any choice or you don't know much about that right so these are the things you need to note about the major differences of Velur and AP I wanted to share my experiences because I have seen Velur campus I have had my friends there I have seen my friends doing graduation there and so I I get to know a little differences between the campuses so if you still have any queries between the two campuses you can just comment it in the comment section below and I'll be happy to reply each and every one of you if you still have a detailed query you can just mail me or text me on Instagram DM me on Instagram I'll be happy to reply each and every one of you it just takes some time you just need to be patient thank you so much for staying out so long this is Vic signing off. Just check out my other videos on VITAP University as well. It will give you a clear idea if you need to decide uh, to whether join this university or not. Thank you so much. This is Vic signing off. Stay safe. Stay informative. Bye bye.